Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are out on the lake and it has been tough fishing but I figured I'd show you a little video on how I find uh, grass lines out here. I'm going to show you all the ways that I know how to find grass lines. Let's run through the video real fast. We're going to walk through a couple different ways you can find these grass lines and help you catch more fish during the summertime when these fish are running on these outside grass lines like this. If you're new to my channel head down below and hit the subscribe button for me. I put new fishing videos out every Monday and Thursday from fishing tip videos just like this to tournament footage and other bass fishing tips while I'm out there on the water. So if you're interested in any of that, hit that subscribe button down below. All right, so we're behind the console here. We're lined up with the fish finders. Um, this is gonna be the one we're starting with. Hopefully you can hear me well over the sound of the motor, um, but we're gonna start with this guy right here. And this is just basic 2D sonar. If you have any fish finder, this is what it's gonna come with. Um, it doesn't, you don't even need GPS, anything. I'll explain that in a second here. Um, but this is the only screen you're gonna need and it's the easiest way to find grass edges. Even the most basic of fish finders can do this. A five inch Lowrance, a four inch Lowrance, you'll literally be able to see this. Even if this was black and white, this will work. Um, this is my easiest way to find grass lines. Then we'll show you some more advanced ones. All I have over here is just my map so I can see where I'm going. But even if you don't have GPS, all I would do is keep two marker buoys right next to me down here in the console. I'd idle out and you can see that's all shaggy looking. That's all grass. And if I look over the side of the boat, you can see the grass. So we're gonna idle out away from the bank and you're gonna do this in a zigzag motion and you're only gonna be able to fish little bits of grass line at a time unless you have a GPS to mark all your spots. But we're gonna keep idling out. You can see it's real shaggy there still. And it's just gonna keep looking like that. Now right there, did you see, see how this drops off? And you can see that distinct wall right there. I'd throw a marker buoy right over the side of the boat right there. Now you can see there's no grass out here. This is the very edge. This doesn't grow up very tall. This is only about uh, two foot deep. And then this grows all the way up to the surface there. And there's a giant ball of bait right there. So now we're gonna turn the boat around. I'd go about a hundred yards, 200 yards, however far you wanna cover away from that marker buoy that you just threw over the boat. Say I have that second marker buoy in my hand. I'd idle back in here. Now I turned the boat around and you can see we're heading towards shore. So I'm going in a zigzag motion. I'm coming out away from the bank. And then as soon as I hit that grass edge, I will turn and go down a hundred yards and come back in and I will find grass lines doing it this way. Um, so now you can see the bottom is starting to come back up. So I need to expect that this grass line is gonna be coming soon. You can see there's more bait down there, which this is a pretty good grass line, so that I, I expect that. Now we're getting pretty close. There's some fish on the edge. More bait, or that could be actual bass, I'm not sure. And then right about, right about here is where I'm gonna start seeing the grass. You see the fringe starting? And then this one only grows up about three foot and there's the grass line right there. So now I'd throw my other marker buoy over and then what you would have is you would have two marker buoys about 100 yards apart from each other or however far you place them and that would determine the grass line. So you'd start at one marker buoy and fish your way down towards the other marker buoy and that would be the grass edge. So you'd be able to fish right down through there. Now the problem with that is you only have two points of contact that you based your grass line off of. So the grass line could have changes in it that you don't know because you didn't graph the whole thing, uh, which I'll show you the best way to figure that out next. Uh, but for right now, let's go right back out this grass line. And if I was marking this with GPS, let me show you how I'd do that with a GPS. So I'm gonna idle out here. And this is the easiest way to find grass lines uh, in practice for a tournament. This is what I'll do. I won't even fish half of them. Um, if I know they're out there, I'll literally just idle like this and keep going. And there's my edge. So I would take, I would wait till I got all the way out to the fringe here. I'd hit right there. You could see my cursor highlighted right on the outside edge there. And I'd drop my waypoint. And then I would just keep zigzagging all the way up and down these waypoint or all the way up and down this grass line over and over and over again and mark every single edge of it. And when you're done, It'll look like this right here. You can see I have all this grass line marked and it comes all the way down here, but you can see 
distinctly this comes to a point out here it comes in and then cuts out as a point and this comes down and cuts out to a point so that you're not going to find that with just regular 2d sonar i'm going to i'm going to show you how to find that now by switching to my structure scan so now using structure scan is the best way to find some grass lines here is how i set mine up um, i set up my side scan and my down scan down scan is going to show you really really well um, what these grass lines look like and you'll actually be able to see the fringe or if there's fish on the edge of it or stuff like that but the side scan is what i use to determine how the grass line goes so here's i'm doing the same thing i'm making my zigzag pattern and i'm going to head straight back into the bank here and as i get closer what will happen is my side scan will actually show the grass that I am looking for, but it'll show it for a long distance. So we'll brighten that up just a little bit. It's very dark because I'm out on the edge here. You can see there's a pile of bait right there off to my right hand side. And now I'm gonna keep going until I hit this grass line and then I'll stop and I'll, I'll freeze the, the windows here so I can show you what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna keep idling up and right about there is my grass line so i'm gonna let this go a little bit further because this is looking like what i want on the side scan here okay now i'm gonna pause it so you can see this is my grass line on down scan there's a couple fish down there on the edge but like I said, you only have one point of contact, so over, you just have to keep making zigzag lines and keep hitting that over and over and over again until you find out how it goes. If you look on my structure scan up here, you won't see fish, but you can see this grass line is a pretty straight line right here. And then as I come over this way, this is the grass line that actually sticks out to a point over here. Um, so it, it comes down as a diagonal and out like this. So if I wanted to, I could put a waypoint there, a waypoint there, and a waypoint there, and I just marked 100 feet of grass line in one pass. And then you'd go the next 100 feet over, and you can very clearly mark over and over and over again where the grass line goes. You could see if there's points, if there's rock piles down there, if there's a hole in the grass. You could pretty much see everything you need to see by going back and forth on that grass line like that with the side scan. It'll mark everything you need. I hope you enjoyed today's video talking all about how to find grass lines. Quick little tip for you today. Not a very in-depth uh, detailed video or a long one, uh, but if you enjoy these quick little tip videos, Videos, comment down below any others that you'd like to see me make on the channel and I will get out there and do them I don't mind doing these quick little tips on how to find fish better or do stuff like that um, Try some of these tips out to help you find some more grass lines and hopefully you catch a bunch more fish doing so If you enjoyed the video leave a like down below and thanks for watching